This is a video showing an attempt to increase the natural vacuum produced by 3 16 inch tubing by connecting the tubing to a main vacuum line. The 3 16 inch line has about 30 feet of drop in 300 feet and has 12 to 15 hard maple taps from 8 to 10 inches. The line by itself can give us about 14 inches of vacuum. The line empties into a 1 inch main line that has a vacuum of about 9 inches, which is all we can get from our dairy style vacuum pump. The idea is the natural vacuum of the 3 16 will be enhanced by the vacuum and hopefully we'll get about 20 inches. The gauge had a reading of 28 inches, which would have been nice but too unrealistic. And here I'm checking the new gauge that we installed. Well, we installed a second gauge over here that we know is working well. And that one is about 14. And 14 is what we'd expect right now. We haven't turned any vacuum. We got an assist down here, which is a dairy vacuum that probably has seven, eight pounds in the in the lateral lines. So when we turn that on, we may go from 14 to 22 or so, which is kind of more like what we'd expect. This thing here has been reading 28, 29, and kind of figured that was something maybe wrong with that gauge, or is wrong with that gauge. Here we are back to check our 3 16 line that took to the dairy vacuum and it had gone from 14 up to 17 but finding out that the line down there was full of ice so we weren't getting it to be what we would like to see. Now that's more like it because I know we got seven or eight pounds probably that that vacuum was capable of doing the milker. We were at what 14? And now we're bumping on to 23. So that's 9. And that's about what we're doing on that. The releaser says 10 on the releaser, but we're actually getting 9 on the lines then. And that's just worked out the way it should. Just adds on then, as we kind of were hoping or thought it would do.